Welcome back. This is part two. This is the piece that was uh, holding the engine onto the other scooter, and it's been cut off, as you can see here. This is a piece of steel that I purchased at Ace Hardware, and I cut it to a length of about eight and a half inches, which is the length of the the truck, and it was screwed right into the former brake assembly for the mountain board, as you can see. And now it will be the motor mount, or the beginnings of it. This is the handbrake system that came with the mountain board which I took off along with the calipers down there. And uh, what I'm going to do is remove this brake handle right here and I'm going to replace it with the throttle handle or whatever, the on off switch from from the uh, electric motor and I'm going to mount oh great, I'm going to mount this to this instead and so that way I'll have a handheld on off switch that will be like that so when you, can, when you ride it you'll be just just click this thing on and off and then I'll run right down to the electronics which will be mounted underneath here and there it is all mounted up here's the wheel of the, of the mountain board which you yanked off and the bearing obviously is rusted to the truck so whatever I'll just stick it back on there now we're going to take this off and we're going to size this up for fitting it on the wheel itself. And so yeah, there you have it. Now we're drilling the holes uh, with a metal bit into the sprocket. We needed to drill two holes and we're using one of the uh, previous holes. And it's right, right there is our third hole. And here is the wheel with the sprocket mounted. I still need to um, borrow someone's drill press and drill the center of this uh, sprocket out so that it can fit over this uh, over this thing here. See that the um, the bearing's still frozen to the truck. It's basically rusted on there, and I don't really feel like dealing with it and breaking it. And I could hammer the thing off, but I don't know if the bearing's going to break, so I'm just going to leave it on there. And I'm going to, after this is drilled out in the center, it should slip right over that and go right back onto the wheel um, where it was in the first place. And then our sprocket should sit nicely, you know, right about there. And... Um, We'll have to once we once we figure that out. We'll have to mock up the the motor. So here is the plate pre preliminarily uh, set on the bottom of the board. It is not going to fit through these holes that were previously used for the bindings. Um, so I'm going to drill new holes. I already drilled the holes in the in the little. Uh, side tabs on the front and the back there and I drilled one in the front and two in the back because I really just don't have that many screws and then it's mostly centered on the board and I just you know roughly centered shouldn't be that bad throw the balance out that much but I think you get the idea here is the preliminary mount for the battery and electronics a little bit low. Hopefully with board flex this metal piece won't hit the ground. This was the hardest part so far having to get this center piece out of the sprocket and I also drilled some extra holes in the sprocket to make sure that I had a, a mount that would be uh, turning without wobbling. So um, the drill press was ineffective in getting this piece out so I just drilled it a bunch of times and there's threads on it, but this thing did not want to come loose, or I didn't have the right tool, so 
whatever. It's out now. Okay, tune in for part three, where we finish the project.